Okay, everybody, welcome. We are doing one slot only. I have made a custom pack for this, so, um, yeah, when you end your turn, only one thing. If you find a sloth, you are allowed that in addition to your one thing. And if you get multiple sloths, then, yeah, one thing plus as many sloths as you get. But, uh, yeah, other than that, all food is allowed. Anything goes in the shop phase. And I've already said the thing about the sloths. <laughs> right, I may roll... Because I really want to have a better base. Like, Moth would be pretty good and Cricket would be pretty good. But I don't think just buying Ducks is it. But it depends how big I get it, actually. Maybe that is fine. Just make it really large. And then I did find another one. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, let's be the Stormy Robots. And for anyone that's not aware, um, you can do frog swapping stuff in this. So if you get a very big, you know, early tier thing... You can always wait until the, near the end of the game, buy an avocado or something, and then um, use triple frog to swap those stats onto something better. So you don't have to stick with the same thing all the way through. You can also just you can also just pivot on like you know tier two to something else because those are those are decent as well. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for a really big duck. I was thinking about pivoting to Stork or something, but I think this is going to work. Shout out to the person who did round one without any pets. I have a feeling they may not have actually been in the game or something. And how did someone have a bigger duck than me? It's fine because I get the HP back, but it's kind of funny. Hey, I get to buy everything. Perfect. And yeah, I'm just going for the combo. I want stuff. Don't care for Badger, I just want my large duck. Badger would be good for trading for a while. So like I maybe could have gone for that, but I can't afford the HP. The HP loss. Yeah, see like Moth would be really good for trading because it's always going to give itself at level two another six attack. So it would be very good for that, but yeah, crickets are one of the best things because if they trade with something, then in addition to whatever they get from equipment, they're going to summon a one one or a two two. And then, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of, lots of cell pets to make it a little bit easier later if they're doing that. And some early stilts as well, that's pretty good. I think, <laughs> I think starting with a frog is probably a, not the best decision though. Cricket users are evil. I would have been a cricket user, but I decided to go for my double duck at the start. Broccoli? Broccoli would be risky against these guys, but potentially good against most of the other stuff. Uh, I'll buy one. I'll buy one, but then I want, like, normal stats on this. Yeah. Leave the other broccoli. Leave it. I'd rather buy broccoli than not. Like, you know, I'd rather buy broccoli than roll eight times and get nothing, but... Yeah. Yeah, you got an owl. That's, like, the best thing to get. <laughs> if, if I leveled up there and found a tier three and it was the owl, that is genuinely the best. It's cheap stats. Because I doubt you'd be able to use clownfish as easily. And Blowfish Pill is, like, more expensive than Owl and kind of useless. And most of the other stuff is pretty bad unless you're actually trying to pivot. So, yeah, I would have loved that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big Duck still crushing. See, you don't need an ability if you're strong. And I'm, I'm buying, like, every stat I can see. The question is, is garlic ever worth it? Uh, yeah, that shouldn't have stayed there. I think the answer is probably no. I'd love to get melon or something, but I don't think I take garlic here. I could try stoat. Like, it's a chance to find that. But again, it's not very good on anything else. I think I leave stoat. How does Dobin work? Are you asking me, like, what's the ability or if it would be good in this lobby? Okay. Ah, for this lobby. I don't think it would work long, long term. Because it is start a battle. It depends on people's abilities. If someone's running something like a leopard, then... If they have a bigger leopard than your Doberman, it may be able to survive the hits and then generate its own armor and then get a win that way, but... I think in general it's going to be kind of weak, because I don't think it can win against an equivalent rooster or... Octopus... I'm not sure. 
it's something that could be decent early, but I don't know if it'd be a um, final contestant kind of thing. Yeah, I have to do this anyway. Okay. You roll, and I refuse to buy, buy snails, I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can buy pears next turn. And maybe try and find a turtle to pill onto it. I could go for cans as well, but I really doubt I'm going to use it, because I'm probably just going to be frog swapping these stats onto something else. And yeah, lots of big ducks around. Blobfish, not very interested. Kind of more interested now. <laughs> nah, no crow. Um, banana is pretty nice. I don't know, I could start freezing these, maybe. I'm debating if I go all in on just getting this thing as big as possible, or if I try and swap the second I find something I want to swap to. Because swapping is great, but it requires quite a bit of setup, and if it takes like five turns just to set that setup up to do it, then that's a lot of time when you're not scaling and you may just lose to other people that are, you know, not doing the same as you. And yes, I am very glad I bought that banana. <laughs> that could have been kind of bad otherwise. Alright, can I get more stats, please? I will buy pears. Melon really depends. I do have a pretty healthy guy, though. <laughs> well, I don't need that many turtles. Um, I will freeze this. I think I am going to pill a turtle onto this, because... I think in the majority of cases, that's probably going to be a good idea. I don't know, I'd want it to be as like, high attack as possible if I'm doing that, but... Yeah, I think if I ran against something like this, it'd be a problem for me. Yeah, they got kind of big. I did forget that Dobermans, like, scaled themselves up. Alright. Uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so I have melon. I will not be buying this. I don't know about the otters anymore. Because now there's like, well there's no zebra, but there is... There's still a cow and owl, which I would love to buy sell more than just buy selling otters. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. Oh, sold a frog cream chili. I can't remember how big that was. Maybe I could have lived if I had my own banana <laughs> instead. Whoops. I don't know, though. I still think in general it's better to have this guy. I'm leaving. Snail is no better than an otter. It's just a conditional, slightly larger otter. Just need one win and you can get out a fresh beluga. Beluga is an interesting one. Like, beluga with an orca inside is definitely... I'm pretty sure that is an objective better orca. So that's kind of cool. With certain other things, it might not be. Like, you know, beluga octopus is something, but not necessarily. Not necessarily amazing. Okarus is not it either, but I don't know. That could be interesting to go for. I'm going to start trying to freeze stuff. Like, I do still want to get this bigger, because I'm not exactly safe yet. I want to start getting ready for my pivot after other people start getting ready for their pivots, because otherwise I'm going to lose to other people that... Yeah. <laughs> that like, have maintained trying to scale. So yeah, do I beluga orca or do I do something like rooster or octopus? I don't think highland cow works great because the bigger one will always summon at the front. Oh, you know, the dog, I mean. Seems to tag as something, but they're not that big. I may try the beluga. It's interesting, at least, and I haven't gone for it before. So I'm going to freeze chocolate. I'm going to try and find some... No, we need frogs. Frogs, please. <laughs> I need two frogs and an avocado. I guess I could just unfreeze the chocolates, but... You know, it makes the transition easier. Yo, they really have to it. And he's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. See, that's the problem with trying to pivot too early. Like, it's, it's nice, and the earlier you get a good thing out, the better, but unless you can do it all in, like, one turn. Oh, I'm 
doing this. I know I had the frog, but like I need the stats. Okay, and there we go, it's back. Okay, I need an avocado. Wait, how much gold do I need, actually? Do I need 12? Because this is 11. If I can find another oyster, then that works as well. Hmm, maybe? Maybe? Look at me saying sorry, John. Why is it hilarious? I killed him. His run's dead. Oh, saber tooth. Interesting. Rooster. Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Rooster's one of the weird ones where it is incredible, but it does get hard countered by octopus. So if an octopus build somehow makes it to the end, then yeah, there's that to worry about. I'm not going to buy this yet. I like having it there just in case I do find another one. You know what? I'm buying pretzels. I still do need that. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, great. I didn't even need it. Okay, next turn I can pivot to my beluga then. It's going to be bad because my beluga won't have equipment and I won't have an orca ready to put inside. But, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, leveling this thing is also going to be really annoying. But I want to try it anyway. I'm on 4 HP. There's time. Reindeer seems good as well. It might be good early, but when you're dealing with 50-50s, a reindeer isn't going to work because it'll die on the second hit anyway. Uh, but anyway, we begin. I will be weaker for this, but I will be here. There we go. We suck the duck's soul out. Now we have one big beluga instead. Um, I could feed it the pretzel, but I think I just don't feed it anything for now. Yo, there's the orca. You know what, never mind. Just feed it the pear, give it that then. Next turn I can buy sell crow and then feed it an orca. And I can get it a little bit closer to being leveled up and then I can try and find some equipment maybe. Because that's like five gold to give it something better inside. You know, plus a level. So then I can have like two rolls. No, that may be bad. I don't know. Maybe I should have frozen some other things just in case I um, wanted to feed it multiple things next turn. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I could always try and give it peanuts by feeling wars. No. <laughs> Help. Alright, just... Just do it anyway. We don't need the, the thing there. Okay, so now you have an orca. And now you're leveled up. Very good, and we can freeze this and try and get it pilled. Okay, it still doesn't have any equipment, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. I want to keep this frozen because it's another way to get XP that doesn't, um, you know, <laughs> mean that I have to replace the orca every time. I will freeze uh, new orcs if I find them, but... Haha! <laughs> okay. I sell you, and then we just roll. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous, I refuse. Uh, <laughs> nah. Leave it. That's also not that good. Come on, pills. Some stats. Pills. Another one, okay. I need pills and a warus. And more of these. I would love to get this to level 3. And 50-50. The sooner it gets to 50-50, the better, because there are a lot of things out here that I'm not going to deal with very well. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem like a, a great fight for me. Still no frogs. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. Well, I have one more HP, like, buffer, but I'm still pretty afraid. I'm look, I'm just unfreezing the tap it. I need this to get built as soon as possible. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We have peanuts. It will not help against the Dobermans, but yeah. <laughs> it's at least easier than, you know, finding a melon and a new orca, because I don't believe I've seen any new orcas. So now I don't need to worry about giving it more HP, again, unless I change its equipment, or, you know, someone else changes my equipment. I don't think the bat team's still in, but you know. Yeah, I just need to not go against these. I have a good chance against most other things. But yeah, the Dobermans. The Dobermans are going to be scary. So I'm hoping the Roosters can deal with those for me. Oh. 
Oh yeah. My orchid didn't even pop. That's how good it is. <laughs> okay. Please, one more level. Um, yeah, I'll freeze that. I can make myself a mouse. Like, I kind of want to give it more attack, but it's not... It's not worth it. <laughs> if I freeze this, then I need to find another orca, which I... Can do. Fine. Fine, then. Okay. Okay, I may just, um, unfreeze Blobfish next turn so I can... Chocolate this again. We'll have to roll, but if I do find another pill, then I'd like to do both, because then I can get it leveled up and just kind of be done. Oh, there are so few teams left. I'm scared. <laughs> no, they had better luck. My orca. Please. Roll. Roll chocolates. Nope, we can freeze this again, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm basically done then. Unless I'm dead. Which would be very unfortunate, but, like, it may just happen. Because, like, I have a chance against this, but we're basically the same team. I don't think I have a chance against these two, because they're just going to one-shot me and take no damage. And then, you know, from my orcas, I don't think I can even get a scorpion. I'd have to, like, orca into a stalk. Into a scorpion. To be able to trade. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so if this team went against, like, a maxed out Mushroom Rooster or something, then the Mushroom Rooster would win. Or even just a, a tomato one, but... Yeah, sadly, I was the one that faced it. Oh, well. Still a good game. GG's, guys. Okay. Everybody, welcome. We're doing Rainbow... What are we calling this? Rainbow Teams Only. So, uh, yeah, look at this. It's a very lovely pack to look at. But what we are doing is there are five slots. And in each of these slots, you have to play specifically red pets, orange pets, yellow pets, green, and blue. So you can buy them in any order. So, like, I can just start with the green and just end that if I really wanted to. But the pets have to go in that order. So if you find... Yeah, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, salt is allowed anywhere, any food is allowed, and anything goes in the shop phase, so you guys have fun with that. We're going to be the... We're going to be the holy phantoms. Okay. Right, right, right. We buy these. I would like strawberries somewhere. Maybe on the chipmunk, because it's the easiest to get rid of. Yeah, I think that's fine. Go out there, roll once. Hummingbird level. I don't know. Toad is cool, but it's kind of bad to have right at the front. It would take a while to get there as well. I can maybe go for the level up, see if I find something better. Because I'm probably going to have a strawberry pet for a while. Because even if this doesn't stay, I will have a free strawberry to put on something else. So there's always something there. Yo, I like these hats. And I barely drew. <laughs> if I did not buy... If I didn't buy that strawberry there, that would have been kind of rough. Um, I think I just go for the level up right away. And that's not bad. I actually kind of like both of these, and I could grab both. Yeah, I think I do. Because <laughs> I can still get everything. Cool. Alright, so yellow, orange. Um, where do I want the strawberry, though? You get more attack, so maybe this? I can scale up the hummingbirds. I think that's fine. So there we go. Right now, I'm only invested in two things, kind of, and that's the hummingbird and the goldfish. Like, regular fish and ladybug can go anytime. And I like the draft scaling, but it's not necessary to be on the team. Oh. That was very close to being a good fight for me, but I have lost actual HP. Pain. Okay, I will try and stack that. I think a meat bone on you is very good. Um, I don't know about sacking fish. Because I'd rather just get a dolphin or a blobfish. I wouldn't keep the blobfish for very long, but I can always pill it on something and get more value there. But at the same time, like, you know, combos are combos. And yeah, this probably isn't going anywhere for a while, so I may just get the... <laughs> get the extra cheap stuff there. Alright. Okay. Oh, just, I do, I 
do feel like that's bad. But... <laughs> okay, eel. I do think that's kind of both yellow and orange. I I don't know whether I take it, though. If I grab it, then I don't have my scaling anymore. Yeah, that's, that's a yellow pet. But I don't, I don't want this. I, I like my scaling at the moment, so I'm going to grab that, grab this. And leave apple. Let's just roll for garlic. And I also have that level up. Great. Free salad, maybe. I wouldn't mind buying that next turn, either. Uh, question is whether I, if I, like, wait to find tier 5s, though. Because there are good tier 4s. I don't know. Most of the tier 5s that I'd want to... Yeah, I guess lionfish is something, maybe. But they are very good yellows. I'm just going to roll it. I don't know. I'll worry about it soon. Maybe I'll buy it next turn. Maybe I won't. But, yeah. Garlic and the other... The other hummingbird almost definitely happening. <laughs> Level 2 Salamander there. That could be very fast scaling. Hmm. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait on it. Clownfish. How long are you staying? <laughs> I don't know. Having a dragonfly would be cool, because I can maybe hit three things if I can get this thing leveled up. Probably don't care about the rest of these. Like, Wolf is kind of cool, and Shoebill could be scaling. Doubt I'd want it super long term, but it is there. Uh, I think I freeze it. I can always just sell the Ladybug. It's not doing that much for me. I don't think I'm going to worry about leveling you, though, because if I do, it's only going to scale my frontline fish. Which, even if I don't want to get rid of it right now, I also don't want to invest in it too much. So yeah, leveling this, I'd only be doing to... Um, Get the combo and hopefully find a good tier 5 and or 6. Okay, Wasp is interesting as well, actually. I don't know if I'd seen any of this. Looking <laughs> at yeah, the teams is really satisfying. I agree. Also, yo, combos. Uh, really doubt I'm going to do anything with Swordfish. Like, it's interesting. Actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I think Piranha may be better, but like... Killing the most healthy enemy, I can maybe find that for it. Oh, oh but that'd have to be a frontline wolf, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just ignore. Okay. Okay, we go. And keep rolling. I know I can't buy anything here. Lobster is red, and I'm probably not going to find a better red thing for a while, but... Yeah, I'm not interested in that. Although it is going to be pretty cheap, I probably should. Yo, okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. What do I do with this? Oh god, this is not the time for a sloth. Okay. <laughs> sloth supports pride. It does. He's so proud. Oh, this can be my red slot guy. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, I'm kind of tempted to sell the swordfish again, so I can, like, lobster sloth or something. Lobster sloth and sell lobster, buy dragonfly, but I think I maybe just buy sloth there and just keep doing what I'm doing already. All right, welcome. You will be my red pet. <laughs> I trust you'll do a great job. Uh, take one of these, try and stay alive. Yeah, we're rolling the rest of that. Give it to Banana, maybe? Sure. I just want to give that something, but... Yeah. <laughs> I think Pepper's going to make the most sense if I keep it around for a long time. Can't use it. It's not rainbow. You know the rules. I even said the rules at the start. Sloth is always allowed. It is any color. Any color you want. And no, I'm not going to fill it. Uh... Oh, no, we're fine now. Sloth victory! Oh, he carried so hard. The last survivor. <laughs> uh, I really should be, like, freezing giraffes or something. Like, I'd much rather find um, lionfish or leopard or Helen cow, but... Yeah, when I have a goldfish on my team, level 2 goldfish, then... Like, anything I buy is going to be pretty cheap. Yes. What do I do, though? I'm not giving chocolate to the sloth. I can try and level the goldfish and maybe find something cool after that. I want to get more stats on there, but... 
Yeah, I'm gonna do it that way, I think. Still got the in my turn. Pepper for you. And send again. <laughs> send again. I love how you're talking about the sloth like is actually alive while the other pets you don't care about. It's because he is alive. He's special. He's the only, only sentient pet on my team. The rest are just ones and zeros, but he's real. He believes, so I believe as well. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything with Stoat. I will be trying to get new stuff on my team eventually, because there's definitely better stuff at the next tier. Like, you know, big green scaling, good yellow stuff. Uh, I don't know, Tiger or Sabretooth are very good. But for now, we buy this. Sabretooth, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I need to, okay, so I need to find scaling. That's the really important thing. I can do this for now, but I might not end up keeping it. And yeah, I don't know about Sabretooth, because I'd love to do Tiger Leopard. Or maybe Tiger Highland Cow if um I can't scale them up too quickly. But yeah, I think I should maybe... Maybe you hold on to that and give it to Pepper. You know what? Let's go absolutely crazy on that. I think... I think I start by selling the giraffe, because it just kind of sucks. And I'm going to use that slot to buy sell... Stoats, maybe? Or not. If I'm going to buy the... Yeah, if I'm going to buy the um, Sabertooth, then I should at least start with orange, I guess. Alright, so no more... <laughs> no more free stuff, but I will get to see what these are. Dragon. I really doubt I'm doing dragon scaling. I don't have the room. Tiger. It, it doesn't work yet, so I'm going to ignore it. I'll take you to start. Okay. And getting you leveled up is also worth something. I do want to roll and find other things, but I don't want to waste chocolate either. Why? No. No. Oh my god, there are so many dragons. Uh... No. Okay. Okay, that is good. I can't use it this turn, but it is great to have. I'm probably going to lose some turns while I'm trying to get this going. But yeah, I'm selling the hummingbird next turn. I'm selling it and we are pivoting. <laughs> so yeah, this is almost the team. I think... Yeah, I think Sloth is obviously not going anywhere. Probably can't get rid of the Sabretooth either. And uh, my front line is also going to be difficult to deal with, so I think it is just a matter of what my yellow is going to be. And there are three good options, so hopefully I'll find one of those soon. Okay, do I do that to start, or you? I have three HP. I think I should invest in my scaling first. Lionfish. It's better for now. If it helps me not die, then great. And yeah, swordfish isn't going anywhere, so I'll freeze that. Let's go! Let's go. Parrot, swordfish. Nah, I, I need scaling. Going to need that. I could have gone for snipes as well, but my late game dream needs big stats. And I think T-Rex is the only way I'm going to be able to get it here. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm really hoping I can find a chocolate or something. Because I don't think I start by buying swordfish. Honestly, it may not even be worth grabbing. No. <laughs> oh, I'm getting melted. Oh, you know, I just unfreeze. Oh, okay, we found it. Never mind. And I think you are better than the lionfish. Because you can only affect two things anyway. Having, like, a potential to summon another 50-50 is... Very, very pog. I'm going to take that, I think. And, yeah. Oh. Yo, if I can get this to level 3 without dying, we are going to be ready. Okay, next XP I find, though, probably does have to go on the Sabretooth, because if I can summon a 16-16 instead of an 8-8, that would be very appreciated. <laughs> very, very appreciated. Yeah, there's a lot of scary stuff in the middle slot at the moment. Lots of leopards and lionfish. Even this. Do we have waffles? We do. So you can actually do uh, luring docto scaling. Hmm. Nah, 
God, this is looking bad. This is looking bad. Help. Ah, <laughs> what do I do? I can't even buy it all. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Okay. I think I have to buy one of these and I have to level that. I think that is all I can do this turn. Because then next turn I can... Next turn I can get this thing leveled up and then sort of be done with that. And there's another chocolate. Don't kill me, please. I can't even buy more equipment for my dudes. There's <laughs> too much other stuff going on. Help has arrived. Not enough. I don't have a bad team, but I also am not convinced that I'm not going to die, like, here. Oh my god, look at these things. Everyone has, like, backline 40-40s. Spooky. Oh. Oh no, wait, they ruined my saber tooth. No. Oh, no! <laughs> no, it got so bad. The snipes on this actually just broke my team. Aww. Uh, well, top 15 at least. Thank you for blessing my run slot. I wish it was on... I wish you'd showed up on a one slot only or something, but... <laughs> oh well. He did his best. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Everybody, welcome. Uh, we are doing a speedy Middle Mantis game. So I've set the timer down to 30, 33 seconds. So that's the fight and the shot phase, but... Yeah, basically you can't do anything until you find a slot. When you find the slot, it must go in this position and this position only. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Once you get that, you're allowed to do whatever else you want. And I didn't find any mama sets, so that's a shame. Must be the gushing rockets. Hehe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as for all the other sort of tag along rules, all food is allowed, anything goes to the shop phase, and if you find a slot, you're allowed to buy it early. But you're not allowed to buy other stuff because of it. You can just have your slot and, you know, start playing around with that until you're first Mantis. Um, yeah, there are Mama sets. Show me those. I need to find guinea pigs. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alright, one more roll and then we can buy sell. I don't know if I want this apple frozen or not, but I'm going to keep it for a while at least. It depends, because for tier 2, I don't need to freeze any food. And uh, yeah, if I can find triple guinea pigs, then I can go for that combo start at tier 3. And if I find the mantis, then having the apple's cool. But otherwise, I'd rather unfreeze the apple and find avocados, because then I can actually actually push money forward, instead of it being really janky, <laughs> like I do with mama sets. Alright. Okay, that's not bad. Two on the first turn. And apparently I said Sloth when I was meant to say Mantis, but I'm assuming the rules came across. I'm going to have a quick cheetah check after this turn, but I'm hoping to find one more of these. Alright. Yes, we are good. Cool. Is this fast lobby or normal speed? It's fast, yeah. It's not like super speed, but it's 33 seconds. 25 is normally unplayable. And once the um, once the battles start actually having pets in, the turn timer is going to go down a lot. In the sense that, you know, battles take longer, so you'll have less time in the shop phase. So yeah, this is still pretty speedy. 25 is funny. 25 is, like, unplayable. It is funny, but yeah. <laughs> it's a bit rough. Uh, I don't know. I think I might just buy these next turn. I guess I got one combo out of these. Oh, you won with the monkey buffs? Hey, nice. I didn't think it would have ended by now. Okay, well, if I'm doing this, I'll do it now. But I will roll a little bit, see if I find another one. No. No. Unfreeze apple, keep rolling. I need avocados. Or another one of these, maybe. Nope. <laughs> nah, just leave it. I'll go for stoats. I'll go for stoats, but there's no point freezing like things to sacrifice before I have my mantis. But here we go. First turn when they can actually show up. Not a mantis, but if I can find one, that'd be good. Mantis! Amazing! Alright. Um... 
Let's do that. I actually don't... Do I want the monkey? I'll do that as well so I can <laughs> kill the fewest number of things. Actually, no, I could have just played the rooster at the back and then I wouldn't even have to kill something, but... Yeah. Yeah, so guinea pig shouldn't have stayed. I assume an accident, but yeah. Okay. So, stalk. Um, I could sacrifice that. I think I'd rather do one of these, though. You know what? Sure, give me a monkey. I'll free stalk as well. And I genuinely don't know about all of this. There's like too many good options here. Because like I'm going to... No, I'm going to waste something here. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have killed one of the um the other ants. I'm just going to lose, I think. Yeah. Okay, Blobfish is very cool. Let's sell one of these. I should have sold the other thing, but whatever. Um, for now, do this, do that, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I managed to spend most of my gold, but <laughs> it's like not the optimal team. But it's fine. I have a thing. How do they have a level three mantis but nothing else? <laughs> what is that? Okay, we can level you, and then I'm probably gonna give it the turtle. Let me put the anteater at the back. Reindeer is fine. Yeah, reindeer's fine. Okay. Wallfish is cool. Don't really care about the rest of these. Send again. We'll have two ants. I don't know whether to unfreeze stalk or not. Because I will have the ants to kill stuff next turn. Yeah, mantis killing at the start of the turn is going to destroy the shot time. Yeah, I definitely feel that. I think the fights are going to get pretty rough though. Because I imagine that summons are going to become very popular. Yeah, no, I have to take a jab jab. <laughs> Has to be taken. Um, but now I'll take a banana. I'm going to unfreeze you and just roll a bit. Guess I'll buy that. And I don't know. I don't want to actually keep a reindeer. I don't want that. So next turn I can just buy Blobfish, Stalk, and then run it like that. It would be cool if I could eventually frog swap my Mantis stats on something else. But I kind of doubt that it's going to happen. Also, I ran into someone with nothing, so I get a free turn. Which is <laughs> pretty nice. Alright. So yeah, like, turtle. Eagle could be cool. Um, tap is really nice, actually. I'm definitely freezing that. You know, it frees a lot of this. These are all, like, really good things. I don't necessarily need them all right now, but the options are there. And, okay, I need a proper look through these. You sold your mantis? Oh no. Okay. Why are you freezing pills? I mean, there are reasons to pill things sometimes. I don't think it's going to be a super common thing, but... You know, it's there. And, I don't know... Use those instead. I don't care about much of that, though. Okay. So I'm really hoping that this tapir turns into a mantis or German shepherd. I think those are the only things that can turn into, barring the reindeer. So, you know, it's, it's likely to pay out. Okay. This takes so long. Oh, another reindeer. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll combine that, but then just buy these two. I'm running out of time. Just throw that on there. End it. And this is a very nice team. I'm also really liking Stego Reindeer. I'd love... If I keep the Reindeer, I'd love for it to just be big enough by itself. But if this happens to hit that, which it did, then uh, pretty nice. And that is a win. Cool. Still maintaining <laughs> decent HP. Um, I think I just... I could freeze these, maybe, but yeah. I don't know how that works, but I'm going to trust it. Okay, cool stuff there. So I, if I want, I could just like double buy Blobfish next turn. Try and get to level on each of these. 
And that does work, great. I did test it with Wildebeest earlier in the stream, and I was hoping it would work with Reindeer as well, and it does. <laughs> I'm very happy. Or I could just pill one, but... You know what? I actually will just pill one. Do it like that. I didn't get to buy some of my stoves, but it's not a lot of time anyway. Okay, so I can get this to level 2 next turn. I 3, sorry. Because this doesn't need it. It's basically going to hit 50-50 in no time. So I could maybe start freezing frogs and try and swap down to some other thing that I can use as a frontline. But at the same time, I could also just buy something and it'll have like max attack near enough, so... Maybe it's not something I need to worry about. Turtle, not really interested. Oh, also we're full of ants, right? <laughs> Um, you know what? I never got to buy a new one, right? You know what? I'm just going to run out of stuff. I don't know what that turned into. Okay, so what I should have done is just to, like, bought a new one to stack on top. I never found one. But, yeah, because now it's going to be very difficult to get this thing to max attack. Almost 50-50 Shepherd. My skin looks insane. I'm, I'm assuming that's on the last one. Uh, okay, if I sell this, if I wanted these, maybe. Or this. Yeah, I think that's fine. These are both really cool. Although, I guess I don't need a rooster, because this is already giving a lot of attack. It would help. It depends if this thing is 50-50 or not, which it obviously isn't. That was very unfortunate. It only hit my things with no HP. Okay, fair. Um, you know what? I'm gonna buy that anyway. What? I was so confused. I have no idea what that was. Oh, my orca. That was chocolate and an orca, and I didn't get to get them. Oh well. I'm buying random popcorn and stuff. I know it's gonna get wasted when they all die, but I need um. I need better stuff during the fights. Okay. Like roosters. <laughs> I buy like one rooster. Give me one of these. And you know what? Fine. I'm buying that as well. We don't really need the blobfish. I'm just going to send it this way. I don't know what to do about um, my other stuff. Because I feel like this isn't the best front line. But I'm not sure what to put there instead. An orca, maybe. Saturn, hello. Eagle's cool. I'm just gonna sell the chick thing there. Buy that. How many people are left? A few. I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Oh. I still had gold. I didn't know. I do need to buy something else for the front line, though. I would love for that to be an orca, but. I don't know, maybe I should have just made that an eagle. I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe slug's the best thing for the front line. Because I don't need it to be protected. I just need it to get resummoned with big stats. Hey, you came back first. Cool. I don't know what's happening. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is it so slow? <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I was waiting for it to move and it didn't, so then I bought the popcorn and then it shuffled the mantis there instead. So now my mantis is popcorn, but maybe that's good. Nah, I keep dying to this team. Or at least a very similar team. Yeah, you're not it. I'm also gonna freeze this. Okay, 10 seconds to try and find better stuff. And you know what? That works fine for me. <laughs> Let's send. Would have been great if I could find more popcorn or mushrooms, but maybe this will be enough anyway. Yeah? Yeah, that seems fine. Frog is still on 4 HP though. Hmm. It's a slug. I'm just getting rid of that. Okay. Please. Uh, sure, just eat that for now. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. 
Okay. Oh no, I lost my back line. Yeah, I'm just dead. I can't beat this with little slugs. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Top three though. <laughs> I needed this to be bigger. I probably needed it to have better equipment. And uh, yeah, didn't have a proper front line for a long time either, but that's just how the speedy lobbies go. Yeah, GG's everyone and froggy and glitch. Good luck. Let me know how it ends.